Hey, what is up, everybody? This is your boy, No One Shot Karachi, with yet another Star Trek Fleet Commander. Today, this is, well, server maintenance day. Arc launch is coming. When the servers come back up, you will be seeing this Arc launch video. So let's dive into what the Arc is going to be. But before that, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to bell notification. Know when I go live or know when I post a video. And don't forget, I do have donation links listed down below. PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. PayPal and Cash App. And if you want to get a hold of me or Zell, go right ahead. And remember, this is my main source of income. So if you guys do want to help out, please do so. Remember, I do stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 7 to 9, or actually 1 to 3 Pacific Standard Time on Twitch. So come join me there. You'll find that in the description down below, including my Discord and donation links. So we are going to be on Voyager Part 2. So Voyager Part 2, we're going to have a new ship, some new officers, some new research, a new damage type which is going to be the interesting part. So new frames, of course, and a few other things. Let's jump right away into the ship. So we all know what ship it is. It's going to be Voyager. Some information on Voyager is it's going to have one of the quickest warps in the game for what we know of. From what they quoted, it's going to have a very fast impulse speed. Passive ability increases damage versus Delta Quadrant hostiles. So it's a Delta Quadrant killer, basically, for hostiles. Um, it has advanced sensors, so it reveals 8472 in the Delta Quadrant that are hidden that you don't normally see. Then we have astrometric scan, reveals player station quartz. Not sure how I feel about it, but we do have that. Then we have a new research tree coming into play, a new below officer preset. So we have the above, the, um, above deck officer stuff, and now we have below deck officers coming in. Um... It's gonna have there's gonna be some super highways, which some players aren't familiar with super highways. Super highways just get you to places quicker, but there'll be new ones for the Delta Quadrant. So there'll be some more research into that. Um, and then the first day that the ship comes out, it's gonna be an in-app purchase, but there is gonna be a sourcing model for it. So there's a free sourcing, you kill Herogen hostiles and get Herogen relics and trade for one Voyager BP a day. So there is a way of getting the ship for free over time, over a three-month period of time. There's no hard level lock to the ship at all. So that's an interesting one. It's just going to be material based if I remember right. And we just took the ship. Now let's see the officers. I'm only showing two here, but there are three. So we have Janeway. When you, her captain abilities, when you take hull damage from a non-player hostile or armada increases shield mitigation for one round. Her officer abilities would be the interesting one, and I'll do some more explanation about it a little bit later in the video. So her officer ability increases isolytic damage by an X percent in PvE. You guys are going to be asking what that is, but we'll go over it toward the end of the video. Then we have Harry Kim. Officer increases all FKR rep by one round. I'm guessing it's the fight, not one round, because that makes no sense. And then his blow deck ability is each round has X chance to generate morale for one round. So we have an X percentage chance of getting morale. Now the officer is not showing here is Tom Paris. Officer um, has an X chance of increasing armor, shield, deflection, and dodge at the start of combat against hostile or armadas. His below deck officer one is the one I'm really intri intrigued in and wanting is each round has an X chance to generate burning for one round. That one, if he's anything like Bolana, gets 100%. Then we could replace Giorgio on there when we do Giorgio and Tal. It'd make it a little bit more interesting when we get down to that. So we went over three officers. And let's go there. We have new researches and new primes, of course. So we have six nodes, specifically the Voyager, 13 economy nodes, research nodes, warp, combat, and damage, and PvE, 20 nodes in total. So right there showing 19. Plus we have a new prime that increases 300% damage when you fight versus player battleships. So that's a new prime that's come out. So you see the trend there. Our next pun is, I'm going to have to bring this be a little bigger so I can see it for you guys, is we have something called isolytic damage. Isolytic damage is a third damage type of the game. So we have energy and kinetic so far. Isolytic damage should be a third new damage type that's going to be introduced to the game through, um, well, through artifacts, basically. So what you see here is isolytic damage. So you see isolytic right here. Then we have our standard, which is going to be our kinetic and blah, blah, blah. Isolate damage is generated as a percentage of standard damage. So we have the top one is isolate damage takes X percent of chance of your standard damage and deals in isolatic. So it takes a percentage of, let's say, 5, 10, whatever it is, or 2%. It's going to deal extra damage, which is going to go right to the hole, what it looks like. See, so as you see, standard, isolatic, and then we are our, our shield HP. And now we have 
isolated ca ca cascade takes x percent, x percent of your standard and isolate damage and deals it in isolate. So this one, I'm guessing it's gonna be like a critical. We didn't get enough explanation beyond it, but it's gonna be something like a critical. So some of the information behind isolitic is there's gonna be a perm new damage type for ships, obviously an artifact. So they're gonna bring that in artifacts, ships, and yada yada for isolate damage. Launches 15 new isolitic artifacts. Three of them are exclusive to Voyager. Eight out of 15 are isolic damage for P on PVE. Two out of 15 are isolic damage on PVE. And five out of 15 of them give you isolated mitigation. So there's going to be a whole new area for isolated mitigation. It's not going to be anything with kinetic. It's going to be a whole different damage type, a whole different mitigation type that we're going to have to worry about more. That's going to have show more damage for isolated related stuff in the game. So it's going to be an interesting way they're going to be introducing a third damage type in the game that we're going to have to get a whole new adjustment to our whole gameplay too because we're going to start including Ice Lake in our PvE, our PvP, and even our Armadas probably. So that's information on that, the Ice Lake damage type. Now we're going to look at our new frames. So we're going to have three new frames that you see here. And let me see if I get the names one more. Let's say you call them frame one, two, and three. So there's four new frames that we're getting in the arc. And then our four avatar, our three avatar, four avatars are coming right here. Are gonna be right here. I think that is. I can't remember what this is. Pre no, pre is not a part of the game. It's maybe for each. No, I don't know. Don't I don't quote me on that. And then we have these are four ones right here that come into the game as avatars. And do we have anything else? We got prime ship officers, hostiles, no hostiles, no armadas, no extra buildings, no fleet commanders, no projectiles. So that's what it's about. The more interesting fact is isolate damage. Like I said, we're going to have to get used to isolate damage and talking about isolate damage and figuring out as time progresses as this arc continues, part two of Voyager, and seeing what Janeway can do, what the new isolate artifacts can do, and what the new well ship can do, because Voyager, I'm guessing, is going to have an isolate base in it. We didn't get that information on it, and we'll see what it looks like. So that's it for the video, guys. Don't forget to hit that like, that subscribe, that bell notification when I go live. Don't forget, there is a member button. If you want to help support the channel on a monthly basis, click that member button, and you become a member. You get a special little place in my Discord and a green highlight in my YouTube live streams. And don't forget, I do have donation links down below at PayPal, Cash and Venmo. Cash up and Venmo are both the center of the show. If you want to get a hold of me for Izel, please do so. Remember, this is my main source of income. And remember, I stream on Twitch from 1 to 3 Pacific Standard Time, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All right, guys, it is No One Show signing out. Hope you guys have a good arc. Tell me how you feel about it. All right, later on.